I was with my husband and my son. It was a normal day. Families, kids were in the water. Among the bathers is 17-year-old Paige Winter, who is swimming in the shallows with her father. We're sitting there on the beach watching the water. And I remember looking out, thinking I saw something go through the wave. I knew something wasn't right. All of a sudden, there was someone screaming shark. There was a lot of blood in the water. Paige's father rushes to her aid. Her dad just started going at him. The desperate parent punches the shark again and again. It was surreal. It was like something you would see on TV. Finally, the predator releases. When they pulled Paige out of the water, her leg was sheared completely off of the bone. My first thought was to call 911. Clark County 911, what's up? Is the emergency? Yeah, there was a shark in the water. We have someone who's gonna um, hurt. They're on their way, they're on their way. Paramedics arrive within minutes and rush the 17-year-old to the hospital. Doctors are able to save her life but are forced to amputate her leg. This is a young girl. She's just starting her life out. And the attack on Paige Winter makes headlines around the world. Little does anyone know it's just the beginning. Over the next six weeks, there are three more attacks along the North Carolina coast, four in total. Nearly double the average for the past 30 years. For tourists and locals alike, it's a potentially devastating turn of events. It would be hideous if our children couldn't swim in the ocean. I think it's critical to know why it's happening. As a mom, you don't ever think you're going to be in the water with your kids and a shark is going to bite you. 